This is a CBS News special report. I'm Carissa Lawson in New York. We're coming on the air with breaking news out of the Middle East. Two U.S. officials confirmed to CBS News that an Israeli missile has hit Iran. This comes after the weekend attack by Iran on Israel. Face the Nation moderator and chief foreign affairs correspondent Margaret Brennan joins us now. And Margaret, first, what are we learning about these strikes? Well, what we are learning is that this was a missile that hit Iran, fired by Israel. These are really just uh, initial reports that U.S. officials are confirming that this incident did occur. There was a strike carried out, but in terms of target damage assessment, uh, whether there will be other strikes, uh, we don't yet know the parameters uh, for the Israeli operation that is um, underway right now. This may not be completely concluded, in other words. Uh, so this is happening, um, and we know that uh, there are members, for example, of the Senate Intelligence Committee out there making public statements, Marco Rubio indicating that the city of Isfahan in Iran uh, is nearby, um, or there is an army base there that could have been a target. I mean, there's a lot of speculation happening by lawmakers, including those that should have been briefed, like Senator Rubio, but no official comment yet from the White House, the State Department, the Pentagon. Uh, our sources, though, are confirming that an Israeli missile has hit Iran. Do we know at this point how Iran might respond to these strikes? Well, this is a further escalation of a situation that we know the Biden administration was really trying to put a lid on, uh, that this tit-for-tat, they wanted to have concluded with that overwhelming drone attack that uh, was stopped by Israeli uh, air defenses over the weekend. Uh, IDF said they took down, what, 99 percent of the incoming projectiles and including missiles and drones. The Biden administration, I wanted to stop there. Uh, so the fact that Israel is carrying out this strike um, on their own, remember the Biden administration said U.S. military would not participate in an offensive action against Iran. Uh, we know that there are hopes that this could just be a signal that Israel felt they had to, again, retaliate, but not necessarily further escalate. But make no mistake, that another uh, strike on the territory of Iran within their borders is an escalation. And since October the 7th and that dreadful Hamas attack on Israel, the major concern has been that a dispute within Israel and the Palestinian territories could then trigger broader Middle East war. We are now talking about a state-on-state -state conflict that the United States is really trying to contain. Yeah, America has been trying to contain it. So what do you think the American government's response might be at this point, now that this has happened? Well, at this hour, U.S. officials are silent on this, uh, at least in an on-the-record capacity. We have no statements from the White House, from the Pentagon, from the State Department. Again, this is underway. But what we do know is that there were diplomatic actions taken just within the past 24 hours to try to provide Israel's government and their prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, an off-ramp. Uh, by saying, look, the world has united behind you in terms of condemnation of what Iran carried out, having gone through uh, actions at the United Nations uh, earlier today, widespread condemnation by members of the international community of that uh, drone attack. Uh, there were also administration actions today of further sanctions being put on Iran's drone program. So it, the world, including the United States, is is trying to draw some lines here uh, in terms of what is and is not acceptable behavior, trying to rein in both Israel and Iran from escalating here. Um, but obviously that did not stop the Netanyahu government from ordering this attack to take place, the attack that is underway at this hour. Now, there are reports of explosions in other areas at this point. We have not yet confirmed any of them. Some of these reported explosions in surrounding countries, for example, these could be, you know, just sonic booms. These could be just uh, in other uh, incidents, we don't know yet how widespread this action is at this hour. All we know is that there was this missile strike 
on the territory of Iran carried out by the Israeli military. And the concern for the Biden administration has been trying to contain this conflict so as also not to make Iran and its leadership feel so cornered that they go and charge forward with their nuclear program. Remember, Israel is a nuclear state. Iran, at this point, has nuclear program, but has not yet, in the assessment of U.S. officials, made the decision to pursue a nuclear weapon. That is the concern here of the Biden administration, that escalation not just triggers war, but changes the calculus of Iran's leadership so that they actually pursue weaponization of a nuclear weapon. A big concern for sure. Margaret Brennan, thank you so much. Again, two U.S. officials tell CBS News that an Israeli missile has hit Iran. Our coverage will continue on CBS News. This has been a CBS News special report. I'm Carissa Lawson in New York.